By most accounts, David Fisher didn't become infected until after he moved into the apartment. It's thought that he brought the pathogen in from the immediate area. The empty exposed lot is releasing something into the air. Area residents are saying that something is making them sick. And that it was the resulting combination of several local environmental toxins. There is also mounting evidence that it had been in the apartment before he moved in. Soon after David's arrival, it started to synthesize at an accelerated pace. The building superintendent, Anthony Rayner, is thought to be the first person to encounter the virus in its initial stage of maturity. His subsequent metabolizing is assumed to have fueled the second phase of even more aggressive development. Its progression at the time of David's arrival, as well as how he and his girlfriend, Stacy Barnes, became contaminated, is a mystery. It's been suggested that their consumption took place in the living room. But due to the dispersal of evidence, very little can be known for sure. What is known is that on the evening of September 27, 2010, three people encountered a rogue life form that defies categorization. Their scattered remains are all that's left of the encounter.